Hi, welcome back everyone. This is Matthew Cox. Today, I'm going to be reviewing some of the best trail cameras. After doing research, I found these trail cameras that are truly the best on the market right now. I've embedded the links to the products in the video description so that you can check them out. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. Stealth Cam G30 IR Trail Cam 8 Megapixel. The Stealth Cam G30 will cost you right around $100 if you buy it online. That puts it at the top of my budget category of cameras, and its performance and build quality is what earns its place as number one in my choice for low cost game cameras. The daytime image quality is solid, and the night photos can be very clear and in focus thanks to the 30 IR low glow emitters. The G30 has a very quick trigger time of half a second and an excellent detection range approaching 80 feet. It should be said that although the trigger is fast, the recovery time to take the next shot has been known to lag longer than some hunters prefer. Stealth Cam P12 Trail Camera 6 Megapixels The Stealth Cam P12 is an awesome game camera that also comes in well under $100. The P12 has a good sensor size of 6 megapixels and a nice 50-foot sensing range to go with it. The Stealth Cam line is one of the easiest on battery usage. You will be extremely happy when you're not constantly changing out the AA batteries like you do on other cameras. The P12 takes very good quality photos and using the 6-shot burst setting is one of my favorite things about the camera. At night, it uses an IR flash that is nearly invisible to wildlife, resulting in an excellent night shot. Moltre A-5 Gen 2 Game Camera 5 Megapixels This is the best-selling budget camera from popular game camera manufacturer Moltre. I did a full review of the original A5, and the Gen 2 is the updated design that remains an excellent low-cost entry-level game camera. It features a 5 megapixel camera sensor with a low-glow infrared motion sensor. It has an advertised range of 40 feet, but I have found it to be closer to 30 feet in practice. Each photo is time-stamped with time and date information as well as the moon phase, which is a nice bonus.